listen to Who watch all of the things you do I hate to break it to you Not everyone wants the best for you Who try to take the dream inside you They see They're flat out jealous and envy All the things you will be Yeah, just hold your head up man And keep on moving on If I would've never struggled Then I wouldn't have the song But don't get me wrong No need to stack up your strife You gotta watch the ones who you let Speak straight into your life Cause the artists they will sing you All their fancy little songs With the funny little beats And all the catchy sing-alongs But the messages they give Are not the kind you should be fed It's a recipe of lies They try to get stuck in your head Man, I see some rappers Sold the souls I won't be selling mine No need to find a source When you're eating from the vine You thought that I was done But now I'm leaving you behind Wouldn't say I deserve it But I'm here to get what's mine Happy Friday, everyone! Oh my goodness, this week has just flown by. I hope all of you are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Uh, I am. Uh, I've been busy the last hour. I've been getting everything ready. As you can see, I'm not like sitting at uh, in my seat right now. I'm on my knees because behind me, I've got paint and lots of good stuff to talk about. So uh, I've been working the last hour to kind of get everything ready for our messy Friday art activity. So I hope all of you, again, have had a great day today. Um, let's uh, get to our PowerPoint. I uh, can see your comments and stuff popping up on the screen. Uh, thank you all for being here today. I'm glad Miss V, I'm glad you are here, um, and I'm glad all the kids are here as well. So let's look at our house point totals. House point totals. Yarisi has 8,044 points. Dinan has 6,887 points. Funda has 6,731 points. And Amistad has 5,945 points. That's great. For those of you who are, are just uh, checking in with us, uh, and this is your first day back this week, uh, watching Mr. Crater live. All the teachers are keeping up with house points and they're turning them in. So uh, I've got lots of points. Hundreds and hundreds of points have added up. We have thousands of points. So we're racing to the end of the school year to see which house will have the most points. Um, today, our art activity is going to be... Um, our art activity is going to be a pour painting with acrylics. We're going to be pouring some paint. The last few times we've been using uh, watercolors, but today we're going to use acrylic paints. And so I'm going to show you kind of what we're going to do and what you need. You need to have a canvas. You need to have acrylic paint, uh, craft sticks to stir the paint, Floaterol, uh, uh, silicone oil, plastic cups, paper towels, gloves, and a drop cloth. And I'm going to show you all that in just a second. So here's what we're going to have to do. Step one, you have to prepare your paint. And so instead of just going through all this, just let me show you, okay? So I'm going to stand up and got my gloves on. You can see <laughs> I want to keep my hands from getting too much paint on them. Hopefully my clothes won't. So, um, so this is what uh, we're going to be doing today. I have, I went to Walmart and I bought a bunch of acrylic paint. I bought red for Amistad, yellow for Eurisi, green for Dinan, and blue for Funda, and also have some white paint here. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix all of these together, and we're, I'm going to pour them onto this canvas. 
and I'm going to create a house painting, a house painting for my house. <laughs> my canvas, normally canvas is white, but I found this canvas uh, is black, and I just liked it. And so this is a 16 by 20 canvas. In order to make all of this work, in order for it to pour properly, you have to get something called floaterol. That's what this is right here. You can find it at Home Depot. You can find it lots of different places. It's kind of like glue in a way. It smells a lot like glue. And you have to mix this in with your paint. And when you mix it, a two to one mixture. So for every two ounces of floaterol you use, you put one ounce of the paint. So what I did is I used four ounces of floaterol and two ounces of paint. And I've mixed, I've got all of them mixed up. I've got the white, I've got the red, I've got the green that you can't see, <laughs> I've got the blue, and I've got the yellow, but the yellow's not, I haven't mixed it up yet. So I'm going to mix it and show you what happens when, of course, when you stir, stir it. This is the floaterol mixed with the yellow. And I'm going to stand up so I can stir it a little bit better. Yes, Miss V, Eurisi is still winning. Uh, Y'all are winning by uh, like a thousand points right now. But we have lots of people sending in points. And I know Miss Stone just sent some points in yesterday. And Funda had like three or four hundred more points than Eurisi. So just because Eurisi's in the lead doesn't mean you're going to win. But you may. <laughs> All right. So... Once I mixed it up, I know it's hard to see because of green screen, but it's yellow, okay? It's yellow now. All right, so now I have all my colors. Oh, and one other thing you have to do, this is silicone uh, pouring oil, silicone oil. You have to put two or three drops of that into your mixture, and I've done that already uh, in all of these. So I've mixed all of these up, and now... What I have to do is pour them in a larger container, all right? I'm going to pour them in this container, and then once I pour them in this container, then I'm going to pour all my mixed paint on here, and hopefully it makes a really cool abstract piece of art. I don't know if it's going to work or not because I've never done this before, but like Miss V has reminded us in the past, these are just happy accidents, right? So we're going to see what happens. All right, so I'm going to move all this paint out of the way because I've cleaned this up already. All right, let me get all this out of the way. I'm going to put my big tub right here that I'm going to pour it all in. And let's see, I think I'm going to start with Amistad first. We're going to pour Amistad in here first, okay? Hello, Faith and Destiny. I see that y'all just joined in. Welcome. We're doing a painting activity today. So, here we go, Amistad. All right, Amistad is our first color in. All right. Put a little bit more of that in there. Okay. Go Amistad. Next, I think I'm going to add Eurisi. All right. Let's add Eurisi above Amistad. So we have red. Then we have yellow with Eurisi. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yay, Eurisi. All right, next, I'm going to add the white color in there because I want the white in the middle. So I'll put white in the middle. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, uh, Mackenzie, for telling everyone to subscribe. Subscribe to subscribe, smash the like button, and, you know, all that other stuff that you're supposed to do, right? 
All right, next I'm going to put in Dinan. Oh my goodness, I may need another <laughs> larger canvas. All right, and last, and but definitely not least, Funda Blue is going in. So we're going to see what happens here. I have no idea what's going to happen, folks, okay? Uh, because just like all of our other art activities that we've done, this is brand new for me. Have any of you done any pouring activities? All right, so... Yay! I didn't get any paint on me. That's good. Now, next step. It's to actually pour it onto this canvas. This is the step I have to be careful because I don't want this paint on my carpet in this room. So, uh, let me... I'm going to grab a couple of cups. I bought some of uh, these clear cups at Walmart because after I pour it on top, I'm gonna to have to let it dry for like a couple of days. And so once I pour it, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these cups underneath it to like elevate it so that the canvas won't stick to this plastic that's underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is after I've finished pouring it, I'm going to stick these cups underneath the painting, you know, something like this, to let, and like let it dry, okay? But here comes the scary part, the part we've all been waiting. Let's see, Miss uh, V says, I suggest you use a tub at home. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, so let's see what happens here. Yeah, if, if you're doing this, okay, so... If you're going to do this at home, I would do this outside. I would not do this inside like I'm doing it. I'm doing this inside so you can see it, but uh, I'm going to do my best to keep it from getting too messy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour all of our paint onto the center of this canvas, and then I'm going to pick it up with the paint on it, and then I'm going to like shake it a little bit. Well, I guess not shake it, but just kind of move it a little bit until I get an abstract piece of art, and then I'm going to put it on top of the cups. So that's the go, and I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to throw these cups in the trash that I have right here, so that I don't get paint all over my shirt, which I almost did. Okay. Here we go. Do I hear a drum roll? Dude. <laughs> all right. I'm a little nervous about this, but We'll see what happens. Man, there's a lot of red in the bottom of this. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is kind of looking cool. This is looking cool. All right, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I don't want to get too much red on there. Let's see. <laughs> All right. All right. So you can kind of see it where you're at. Now I'm going to move it around. Move it around some to the ends. This way. You know what? I think I need to pour a little bit more paint in here. I think I do. Da, da, da. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Let's see what happens here. All right. There we go. It's about to get messy, folks. We like mess. We like messy. We like messies. <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's going over here on this edge. I just don't want it to drop off the table because if it drops off the table, I'm in trouble. All right, get it over here to this edge real quick. Now we need to bring it back this way. 
toward me. This is looking pretty cool, guys. I really like it. I know you probably can't see it right now, but look what's happening. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. Okay, I like that. I like the way it looks. So I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna put it here. And I've got, there's just a couple spots that I need to touch up. All right, hold on. I'm gonna take this glove off. Look at me, I didn't get too messy, but oh, this, <laughs> this table is getting messy. All right, but I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna paint the sides here where I left it a little black. I'm gonna paint that just so that it's not black, so that it's the colors. Maybe get a little paint out of here. That turned out a lot better than I thought it did. The only problem is there's not a lot of blue on it. There's an awful lot of red on this thing. This is more of like an Amistad piece, I think, than a Funda piece, but I'll take it because it represents our houses and I love our house system. So let me come around to the front and look and see what it looks like. If there's any spots, oh, there's a little spot right there. You know what? I don't know if Miss, uh, oh, that looks good, a little blue right there on the edge. Um, a little bit more blue. I gotta put some blue. All right, so I think you may can see it from where you're at. What do y'all think about this, all right? You can kind of see it. So I'm gonna let it dry. <laughs> it's a Minecraft blob. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know if it's a Minecraft blob or not, but it, it looks, you know, it looks pretty cool. I've never done anything like this before, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna let it dry, and then on Monday, when we come back here on Mr. Crater Live, uh, on Monday, I'll share it with you, uh, the masterpiece. So it's it's looking like if you're an Amistad, you're probably gonna like this piece a lot because uh, there's an awful lot of red. But there's green, blue, and yellow in there as well. Uh, I hope uh, all of you uh, have a great, great weekend. Remember, Sunday is Mother's Day. So definitely do something special for your mom on Sunday. Write her a note. Maybe make her a piece of art. And uh, if you get a chance and you want to try this at home, you can always send me a picture of what it looks like. Uh, let me, here, I'll get out of the way and let you see this. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see, and I can't pick it up and show you right now. It has to dry like that. So on Monday, I will show you. But I hope all of you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It's supposed to be beautiful this weekend, so please uh, go outside with your family. Enjoy it if you can. Uh, tell your mom how much she means to you and how much you love her. Give her a big hug and a kiss. Write her a note. Make her a piece of artwork. Do some stuff for her. Pick up the house clean up your room, do some laundry, maybe get up early and uh, you know bring her some cereal or some other breakfast to her room. Just make her day very special. And most of all, just tell her that you love her. I hope all of you have a great, great day. And I will see you back here on Mr. Crater Live Monday at one o'clock. Bye-bye, everyone. See ya. Look up, live free, dream big and see The world is yours, the world is yours Give all you have, you have to give The world is yours, the world is yours I tried to break free, you tried to keep me bound I tried to live right you tried to keep me down, but now I'm going up, I'm moving high then 
anywhere that I've been before, I'm fine, man. It's kinda crazy, like my feet are lifting off the ground. I'm touching heaven with my hands now to get the sound. But though I'm flying, my head is still level and I won't be bound. Down to hear the whispers of the devil. Now the future is here and it looks real bright and it can be yours too. If you set your path right, I know life can be hard, but you were put here to win. Just refuse to quit when you're down and get back up again. Man, I used to rap my music from my tiny bedroom. And though I dreamt of being free, I felt trapped like in a tomb. And even though the times are dark and I can barely even see through all the tears, I sit and pen, we bout my destiny. But now the days are gone where I would listen to the critics who counted me out before they ran the proper analytics. I'm here to stay, just like a necklace waiting to be pearled. And I'm throwing up the chorus as I'm singing with the world. To who watch all of the things you do I hate to break it to you Not everyone wants the best for you Who try to take the dream inside you They see they flat out jealous And envy all the things you will be Yeah, just hold your head up man And keep on moving on If I would've never struggled Then I wouldn't have this song But don't get me wrong No need to stack up your strife You gotta watch the ones who you let Speak straight into your life Cause the artists they will sing you All their fancy little songs With the funny little beats And all the catchy sing-alongs But the messages they give Are not the kind you should be fed It's a recipe of lies they try to get Stuck in your head. Man, I see some rappers sold the souls, I won't be selling mine No need to find a source when you're eating from the vine You thought that I was done, but now I'm leaving you behind Wouldn't say I deserve it, but I'm here to get what's mine oh